Hey everybody, this is Nightmare Inc. and this is Let's Play Mega Man X. When I last left off, I took out the last of the remaining Sigma bosses. And that means that in this episode, we will be taking on Sigma himself. So, let's get this started. This is Sigma stage. It's actually a long hallway going up. But before I do that, before I take on Sigma, climbing up this wall will reveal holes with enemies in them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to farm some, uh, some health, some lives if possible, because as the last boss of the game, Sigma is not easy. He is deserving of the last boss role. So I am going to be right back while I take care of this. Hey everybody, we're back, and as you can see, I have full lives and full sub tanks. And now we are going to climb up. And we are going to take on Sigma. I'm going to do actually instead of uh, you know what no I'll keep all my fails I was actually going to try and make a fail montage but I think I'll just keep all my fails welcome I see you managed to get here by yourself very impressive I could destroy you but I would not rob my pet of that pleasure he knows how to deal with betrayers. Should you live, I will be waiting for you. Don't disappoint me, X. So, Sigma's dog is actually a lot easier without his weakness. His weakness is shotgun ice, but shooting him with a blue blasted X shot will actually cause him to skip back like that. Actually stopping him from attacking a lot of the time. Though that seems to happen his little hop there can actually throw you off pretty hard. There we go. You could easily take him out with a Hadouken, but as you know, I have a lot of trouble with the Hadouken, so I didn't bother with it. Excellent job, X. I see why Zero counted on you. You're almost as good a hunter as I was. But the time of your destruction has arrived. You shall regret ever having to fight me. Now to take on Sigma. Sigma himself is actually pretty easy. If we stick to the walls during this, uh, before he actually attacks, you can make this battle very easy. And I'll show you how. And I've already ruined it. Sigma is weak to Spark Mandrel's electric shock. And the easiest thing to do for this fight is stick to the walls and just have him repeat this pattern without getting the chance to attack. If you're careful, you can time two shots like I do. There he goes. I would honestly think this part of Sigma would be a little bit hard during right when I say that I die. Awesome. Okay. Round two then. Blah blah blah, dialogue we've already read. 
And there you go. How do you get one shots every boss but Sigma? Well, he might do it in this form, but Sigma has a few tricks up his sleeve. While you're doing that, I'm going to do this. There we go. This is how you're supposed to do it. Get up here ASAP. While he's busy. Zap. Don't remember how much the X buffer actually does to him. If I remember right, it's actually a pretty significant amount. But, um, I may have to use my X buffer since I'm running out of Spark Mandrels and. Uh, I may not need to. There we go. Sigma has been defeated. At last, the hunters can rest easy knowing. Oh crap, never mind. No, I knew this was coming. This is Sigma round two. He has combined with the remains of his dogs, and much to my surprise, Sigma is actually weak to the rolling shield. For years, I thought the only way to hurt Sigma was through a fully charged pink level X Buster shot. And I thought it only did one damage. Apparently, <clears throat> excuse me, apparently it can do up to three damage if you time it right. And if not, you can use the rolling shield to hurt him. Out. His attacks do quite a bit of damage, and I just walked into both of them. Pop. There you go. His attacks are kind of easy to dodge, really. Just pay attention, and you won't get hit as often as I. And his fire does a big amount of damage. So he's actually being kind of a jerk and not sending his paws down like he usually does. There we go. Pop. Pop. Ow. Okay. Okay, now this is getting retarded. You can climb the walls and do what I did, but I would suggest against it most of the time. This crap like that is going to happen right here. Also, it helps with your dash works. Yeah, I got to try and pay attention to what I'm here, because I am going to be messed up to the back. And, again. Sometimes when the paws are low enough and you're feeling brave, you can wall jump onto them. As one can imagine, the sides do not hurt you. Uh, when there's no electricity, I can damage? I'm dead. After getting so freaking close. Unbelievable. Uh, I'll be back. All 
Alright guys, we are back, and let's try this again. Sigma has been messing me up pretty badly. It took me forever to get here. The dog kept rocking me. Ah, uh, the edge of the ball caught me. Wow, I actually avoided damage there. Kidding me? Ugh. Trying so hard not to miss silence. I really am. Because this is an LP and this should be entertaining. And he keeps opening both hands at once. I don't know which one to dodge. And of course, I dash into the lightning. And I'm just that skilled. And I can stand another hit before I have to change. Where are charge? Ow, I really want to avoid that. The fire does really high damage. One way to do it. Jeez. I did not think it would take a whole video to beat Sigma. He really isn't that tough. Well, that was merciful. Thought for sure the lightning would fire while I was down there. When you relax and take your time, this is actually a very easy fight, but you all know how the LPS crash goes. Once there's yeah, once there's recording, it all goes to hell. Once you hit the record button, all skill you have. No! It's not possible! I'm a Reploid. I can't be destroyed by you. Why, X? Why have you done this to us? Without the humans, my Reploid brothers could have ushered in a new age. Well, that fight was a pain in the ass. I mean, a serious pain in the ass. Oh, Sigma, you annoying jerk. Though a lot of it was me not dashing, thanks to my dash button being stuck a lot. Uh, for those who don't know, I use an uh, F3. Oh, I'll discuss this later, actually. Because I want to read this. The war has ended. For now. And peace has been restored. But those who sacrificed themselves for the victory will never return. Exhausted, X gazes at the destruction he helped cause. And wonder why he chose to fight. Is there another way? Standing on the cliff, the answer seemed to escape him. He only knows that he'll fight the Mavericks again before he finds his answer. How long will he keep on fighting? How long will his pain last? Maybe only the X-Buster on his hand knows for sure. Okay. Going back to what I was saying, I use an F310 Logitech controller, and um, right now uh, it has, uh, it's set like a PS2 controller kind of, or a cross between a PS2 and a 360 controller, and I use my left bumper, which I guess would be the equivalent of the L button for my dash.
and uh lately it's been getting stuck a bit was a cool ending. And you, as Mega Man X. <clears throat> Alright guys, I just want to say, this has been really fun for me. I enjoyed playing Mega Man X so much. It's one of my favorite X games. It was the first X game I played. And I hope you enjoyed my LP of it. I had a lot of fun making it despite having such a huge migraine for some of the crap I had to go through. Ew. That's all I have to say. Ew. Um, uh, I hope you guys will join me for my next LP. Uh, it will be a little bit. Uh, for now, I will tell you I will be uploading some temporary videos in between where I will be basically playing through um, oh, excuse me, I will be playing through Terraria just as a filler, I'm not LPing Terraria, Terraria is just filler uh, my next LP will take a little, a little while, I want to practice on it but when I do, I hope you guys will stay tuned and enjoy it by Capcom. Ah, here it is. I have to skip through a little bit to find it. But uh, if you wait long enough, you get this. You have won a temporary victory, X. What you destroyed was only a temporary body. My spirit remains intact. In time, I will find other bodies strong enough to do my bidding, and I will return. I shall see you soon, X. Very soon. Yeah, I had to push the skip button to get to that. I had almost completely forgotten. Cool little tidbit. Anyway, like I said, I hope you will stay tuned for my next LP. Until then, this is Nightmare Inc. signing out. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you soon.